हेलो व्यूअर्स हाउ आर यू आई हैव जस्ट बॉट अ न्यू फोन इन फिनिक्स नोट सेवन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन प्रूव दिस फोन लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो व्यूअर्स फर्स्ट थिंग यू नीड टू डू इज एनेबल डिवेलपर ऑप्शन बाई टैपिंग सेवन टाइम्स ऑन बिल्ड नंबर यू कैन सी द फोन इज मॉडल इज एक्स सिक्स नाइन जीरो इन फिनिक्स एक्स सिक्स नाइन जीरो एंड Android 10 with latest security patch is running. We will tap seven times on build number, and developer options will be enabled. Now you need to go in developer options, and there you need to enable OEM unlock. I have already unlocked, and then you need to enable USB debugging. Once you have done these two things, then you need to connect phone with computer. on computer we will uh, open cmdhere.exe and here we will type adb devices to make sure if device is connected viewers make sure in device manager your phone is connected as adb android adb if it's not connected you need to install adb drivers okay i will type uh, adb space devices and press enter viewers when you will type this command a notification will appear on your phone where it will ask you to allow usb debugging tick always allow and then press allow and now we will be able to run adb commands we will again check uh, uh, connectivity by typing adb devices and now it should say the connect it is authorized and now adb reboot dash boot loader and press enter now phone will enter fast boot mode immediately we were in fast boot mode we need to unlock the boot loader before proceeding with this step make sure you back up all important data on your phone because the storage will be wiped it phone will be completely wiped okay once phone is fa in fast boot mode type fast boot space flashing space unlock and press enter when you will press enter a warning on your phone screen will appear where by pressing volume up you will select yes that you want to unlock the boot loader once you press volume up now your computer will uh, show a success message and then you need to type fast boot space reboot and your phone will reboot and all data on your phone will be wiped viewers a warning also will appear every time you reboot your phone once your bootloader is unlocked about uh, this uh, bootloader unlock that device has been unlocked and uh, this message will appear for 5 seconds okay phone just uh, rebooted and now we have to go through the initial configurations we were you can skip most of the steps you don't need to enter google account you can do it later and you don't need to connect wifi you can simply skip skip these steps so that uh, you can finish this process as quick as possible Because keep in mind this root method only works on version 3.7.6 build number v3.7.6. On any other older versions, you try at your own risk. Again, we will enable developer options and then enable USB debugging. and uh, once usb debugging allowed you need to tick always allow and uh, then connect phone with computer and allow files transfer mode viewers after enab enabling files transfer mode you need to copy latest magisk apk which i will include in the files 
you need to install latest magis 23.0 version on your phone i have just copied it and uh, open file manager and there the file will appear install this apk on your phone on computer we will again type uh, adb devices to check the connectivity and type adb reboot bootloader command again and phone will enter fast boot mode and uh, now we need to uh, enter this command we need to disable verification in vb meta so you can copy this command and paste it there and uh, once it is successful you need to type second command which is fast boot space flash space boot space uh, and uh, after space you need to simply drag and drop magisk patched image on this cmd screen once and then press enter after this successful flashing you need to type command fast boot space reboot and uh, phone should uh, start normally We will open Magisk Manager to check if uh, Magisk installed. Yes, it is saying Magisk 23.0 is installed, which means uh, the root has been successfully installed. Now we need to pass the safety net uh, on our phone. We were few things you need to do: disable check updates for Magisk and enable Magisk Hide, and tap on Systemless Host option. Once you have done it, make sure you connect Wi-Fi before proceeding because we need to download some modules so we have to connect wi-fi wi-fi is connected now we need to search for module we will type props and here it will show you magisk hide props config install this module don't reboot uh, your phone after installing this module simply Okay, it is saying uh, failed. Uh, okay, that additional setup is required. Simply tap on OK and your phone should uh, and uh, reboot. We was after connecting Wi Fi, your uh, Magisk manager will uh, sh show you an option to for additional setup you have to do this you need to press ok and phone will reboot automatically okay and after that you will be able to install any modules phone has just rebooted and now we will try to install modules open magis go to modules tab and uh, there we will search for props we was you need to install magis hide uh, props config module viewers don't reboot your phone after this module 
simply tap on back button and uh, we need to install another module name is riru just search r i r u riru and uh, install this module after installing this module you should reboot your phone Once phone has rebooted you need to download another module and uh, the mo name of that module is safety net fix viewers you cannot download it from magisk you need to download using chrome simply open chrome and uh, type there safety net fix and uh, you will get uh, a github link open that universal safety net fix link and uh, in there you need to tap on releases so that we can see which versions are there we need to look for riru version we, do, we don't need to flash the disk we need riru this 2.1.3 riru version simply download this module it is very small file and uh, open magisk manager in magisk manager tap on modules tab and uh, tap on install from storage and uh, flash this module after flashing this module you must reboot your phone now oh, we are going to check safety net and uh, it should pass okay it is showing success and uh, we also need to verify root access you can use any free root checker and it is showing device is successfully rooted Now viewers if you want to install exposed manager simply open chrome and download ed exposed manager and download the latest version from github currently latest version is 4.6.2 just download this and uh, install this apk Okay, exposed manager is, is installed, but it is saying ED exposed framework is not there. So we will open Magisk and in modules tab, we will search for ED exposed. We need to, we was one thing I forget to mention that you must hide Google Play services and any other banking apps in Magisk hide. Make sure you hide Google Play services and all your banking apps okay in modules tab we need to search for uh, ed exposed and you will get ed exposed riru ed exposed simply 
tap on download and install viewers you may get error that error is because of the reroo module we have installed earlier uh, just let it finish and uh, it will give error and open you a page where you can uh, see the reroo modules this error is uh, because this error is showing because we have latest reroo module viewers ed expose does not work with reroo latest module we need an older version of reroo so you can simply remove tap on remove and then you need to download the older version manually which is 25.4.4 you need this version of Riru, Riru 25.4.4, then tap on install from storage and simply install this version of Riru. Viewers, uh, this version will not affect uh, your root. Okay, once uh, you have installed the Riru older version, press reboot. Now we are going to install the ED exposed. We will search again Riru ED exposed and install it. And now it should complete without any errors. Download can be sometimes slow, so it will take few seconds. If download does not start automatically, you can uh, tap on uh, install, fr install from storage and select that module manually. And now you can see it has been successfully installed. So Riru uh, ED exposed framework has been flashed and now we will reboot and uh, we'll check if exposed manager is working. see it is showing exposed is installed so we can download some modules uh, there are lots of modules viewers make sure you only install the compatible uh, the module which is compatible with your phone installing any incompatible uh, module can break your phone so we will try with the gravity box which is very famous module for uh, uh, the for uh, display modification so we will download gravity q version because our phone is running android 10 so we need the q version so just look for the q version uh, this one uh, okay this one is for oreo oh we need q okay we will install this q version
we was after installing every module you need to reboot your phone otherwise that module will not be active so you must reboot after installing every module Okay, we can see that module is installed. Open the gravity box module and uh, we will try to uh, use uh, some of these features. Like uh, in navigation bar, you can uh, uh, change the size of navigation bar. You can change uh, the sides of nav navigation keys. You can uh, enable menu key and you can also change the color of this uh, bar. Uh, right now there is no color set system default color is there so I will try to change the color I will change it to black okay uh, if we will select black you can see that it is showing white but uh, after selecting uh, this uh, color we need to after making any changes you must reboot your phone only then that change will uh, take place so we will see if that navigation uh, bar uh, color remains black on every screen viewers you can see that color is showing black on every screen we can if uh, you can open anything but that's that uh, color of those uh, navigation buttons will remain black so you can uh, use uh, other features also thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel